welcome to today's video guys. Today, as you see by the title, is learning how to wheelie. I'm not telling you how to wheelie, this is a video of me learning how to wheelie. And hopefully I'm going to get better and it'll be a good video. I've watched so many videos in the last few days, tons and tons and tons. This is driving me mad. I can wheelie my road bike, no problem. This, I'm so scared of this. I don't know if it's the weight, the aggression of the power being a two stroke. I don't know what it is, but I'm just scared of it. I'm going to master wheelies. I'm going to be out here practicing every day. And this is the first day. So let's put into practice a little bit of what I've learned so far. So basically, we want to be doing slow wheelies. We're not doing fast wheelies. We want to be doing slow. We're going to be clutching them up, covering the back brake, you're learning to make that back brake second nature. I'm quite good at the back brake already, but I just want to get it nailed because I'm so scared of looping this bike. Every time I try and do wheelies, I loop it. So let's just try and get that back brake nailed in. So here we go. Going off to the side a bit there, then that back brake is so important. I just want them to come up slowly and back down slowly. I'm not trying to get distance, I just want to learn that back brake coming down, coming down, so that it becomes second nature, so your feet aren't just flying off as soon as you get scared, because that's what happens. You get to 11 o'clock, where you're not even looping it, but you just get scared, and your back, <laughs> your back feet, what am I, a dog? Your legs, they just come flying off, and that's when you crash. So, learning that you're not as high as what you think you are, stay on the bike, stay gripped, get your knees gripped into the tank, get that back brake ready, just smash the back brake, smash the back brake, Harder than you smash the motherfucking like button. Before I get loads of hateful comments down below saying you can't wheelie for shit, you can't ride bro. I can ride my dad's 450 better than that. I'm not saying I can wheelie. This is a video of me learning how to wheelie. Oh, that felt so high. Just getting that back brake dialed. I don't want to be chasing wheelies, I don't want to be changing gear, picking up speed. I want to learn to slow wheelie. Something that I think is quite important that I've learned from the road bike is you should be on the power a little bit when you're landing, it just eases the landing. That was quite a harsh one, I chopped the throttle all the way off and it just goes BANG! So on the way down, I think you should give it a little bit of throttle just to, just to ease that landing a bit. Back brake! Back brake! just got to get used to that feeling of you're not as high as what you think you are. You're not going to fall off the back of the bike. As long as you can press the back brake, you're going to go back forward. Big shout out to Two Stroke J. He's been a massive inspiration for me to get out here to finally get these le wheelies learned. Watching that guy on his RM125 go from wheelies like me to one-handed 
feet up here, knee knockers, scrapes, everything. The bloke's just killed it in five months. He just, he nailed it. But stands of hard work, dedication, and just being out there practicing. And they had plenty of crashes on the way, loads. You've got to expect crashes. When you're learning something, you've got to expect to crash. It's just part of learning. But that guy is straight killing it. If you want a wheelie, you gotta give it gas. Drop the clutch and float it back. Don't forget the rear brake or you might just end up on your ass. So remember, give it gas, drop the clutch, float it back, but you are all gonna end up on your ass multiple times during this process. Boss. Two stroke J's at 12 o'clock. Like this. <laughs> He's absolutely nuts. I think my seating position is a little bit wrong. I think I need to go a little further back on the seat. Quite big, heavy guy, so the further forward I sit, the harder it is for my bike. But I went through this same learning process with my road bike. Just practice and practice and practice and practice and then one day just oh it hit me and I got it. Once you find that balance point and you get comfortable with it, you're away. So that's what I'm out here doing, just looking for that point. practicing wheelies I just ask you guys what do you think of the new upload schedule try my best to do every Tuesday I've done every Tuesday now for the last eight weeks sometimes it's really tough to get the time to make the videos There's so much time goes into making these videos it's not just putting the GoPro on going out filming up to YouTube there's a lot of editing involved like you don't want to put the shit bits in I don't think I've had the shit bits in. But my audio's turned out alright. Midwest MX has given me a little fluffy thing to put over my GoPro because I haven't got a microphone like him yet. But let's get back to the wheelies. Slow down. That's it for today, guys. If you found today's video interesting and you want to follow my progress, I'm going to put this into a playlist. I'm going to be out every day practicing these wheelies. They're not going to get uploaded every day, but I will be out practicing every day. Every time I notice a uh, significant improvement, I'll make a new video. But today was just about learning the back brake, learning to pop it up, learning to bring it back down, up, back down. So next time, let's see if we can Make them last a little bit longer. So smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell to get a notification when a new video comes up. Why don't you want to know when I make a new video? Follow my progression of wheelies, motherfucker.